Hey, history buffs and drama geeks. Today we're diving into the juicy scandal that might have turned a small town boy into the world's greatest playwright. That's right. We're talking about William Shakespeare and the deer poaching incident that could have changed everything. Picture this. It's 1585 in Stratford-upon-Avon. Young Will Shakespeare, probably bored out of his mind, decides to spice things up with a little illegal hunting. Bad move, Will. Our boy gets caught red-handed on the estate of Sir Thomas Lucy, the local big shot. And let me tell you, Lucy was not amused. Shakespeare gets whipped and prosecuted. Ouch. But here's where it gets interesting. Instead of laying low, Shakespeare does what he does best. He writes. Legend has it he pens a savage ballad roasting Sir Thomas Lucy. Talk about adding fuel to the fire. Lucy is furious, and suddenly our dear Will is in hot water. So what does Shakespeare do? He pulls a disappearing act worthy of his future theatrical career. He vanishes from Stratford, leaving behind his family, and heads to the big city, London. And just like that, the lost years of Shakespeare begin. From 1585 to 1592, we have zero records of what he was up to. Was he on the run? Was he honing his craft? Or was he just having a seven-year party? Fast forward to 1592 and bam, Shakespeare explodes onto the London theatre scene. Coincidence? I think not. Think about it. One, it could be why Shakespeare knew so much about law in his plays. Nothing teaches you about justice like narrowly escaping it, am I right? Two, remember Justice Shallow from Henry IV, part two, and the Merry Wives of Windsor? Many think this character is Shakespeare's revenge roast of Sir Thomas Lucy. Talk about holding a grudge. And three, this whole ordeal might be why Shakespeare was so obsessed with themes of justice, power, and social class in his works. He lived it. So there you have it, folks. A deer, a diss track, and a daring escape. The ingredients that may have cooked up the Shakespeare we know and love today. But remember, while this story is as juicy as a venison steak, it's not 100% confirmed. It's just one of the many mysteries that make Shakespeare, well, Shakespeare. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more historical scandals and literary legends. Until next time, keep it dramatic.